Notts began the new decade with a trip to Maidenhead, just six days after the two sides had met at Meadow Lane. Despite the Magpies running out comfortable winners in that one, the game at York Road was a much cagier affair, with Sam Osborne one of the few Notts players to spurn half chances early on. James Akintundi then had a glorious opportunity to put the hosts in front just before the break, but he could only find the side netting. Sam Slocum was on hand to stop Josh Kelly's flicked effort as Maidenhead went in search of a winner in the second period. But the save of the game came from fullback Dion Kelly Evans in the dying moments, as he heroically headed clear with Akintundi lurking. 0-0 at finished, with not some beat and run stretched to six league games. A hectic festive period came to a close with the visit of third place Bromley, providing Knox with an opportunity to lay down a marker in their surge up the table. Here comes the in-swinging ball, that should be Slocum's, it is, and now they'll look to hit him on the counter-attack as fast as they possibly can, down the left-hand side, it's to Osborne, ah, his touch was poor, but Thomas is there to sweep up, and they've still got men forward, here goes Osborne, down the left wing, Enzio's in the centre as a target, so's Wooten, so's Rose, it's still with Osborne, another poor touch, but he gets past his man, cuts it back to Thomas, oh, no. oh, it's a brilliant goal, and the perfect start for Notts County, three on the clock, you know what Thomas is going to do, He's going to salute the Knott supporters here at Meadow Lane. Perfect counter-attack from back to front. Sam Osborne, a bit of a heavy touch at first on the halfway line, but Wes Thomas is there backing him up. Gave it back to Sam Osborne, who beat his full-back on the byline, pulled it back to ten yards out, and Wes Thomas with a fantastic first-time finish with his left foot in at the near post. The pushing and shoving continues, of course, all of this a few yards away from the penalty spot, and the referee's keeping a close eye on it. Better that the whistle will go shortly. Here comes the ball into the area, towards the back post, oh, surely oh, a penalty! Ref, the ref, the linesman's flagging for it, the linesman's giving it! Surely a penalty, and it is! And with nearly 24 minutes played here at Meadow Lane, and Notts County leading Bromley by a goal to nil, can he double the lead and make it 14 from 14 this afternoon? The Bromley players are still inside the penalty area, but Mitchell Rose will not score. No, it comes to Enzio, and he sticks it over the top. The keeper might have got his fingertips to it to turn the ball onto the post. So here comes the in-swinger towards the near post, cut out back there by Brindley at that near post, comes back out to this near side, Woods cross is blocked, comes out to Bingham, he's going to have a goal, goal with his left foot, oh. oh, what a save! It's a brilliant save from Sam Slocum. Again, a few shouts for uh, a free kick to Bromley, I think, this time from the fans over there, and now the Knox fans in the cop responding by booing. And it's with Cheek, 25 yards from goal, drills one, bottom corner, one all. What a strike that is from Michael Cheek, out of the blue. 70 minutes about to tick over, Knotts have another corner, into the area! Get it! One. Yes, it is! Connell Rawlinson, his first goal for Knotts County. Well worked, points at the badge on his chest. Big Connell, who's become such a fan favourite here at Meadow Lane, with his black eyes and his stitches and his heroic performances. And now, with a goal, 70 gone. Notts two, Bromley one. Come on, referee, let's have the whistle. Yeah, more than 20 seconds over now of the four minutes added on. The referee puts his whistle to his mouth and Notts County have themselves a massive three points to kick off the new year here at Meadow Lane. After working on a deal for two months, the club completed the permanent signing of top scorer Kyle Wooten from Scunthorpe after an impressive first half of the season. The 23-year-old put pen to paper on a two-and-a-half-year deal, with his sights set on adding to his 12-goal tally. Obviously, I've been here on loan first, but it, it felt like home, and uh, that's a really important thing to me. Uh, I've been at Scunthorpe for, well, I was there for a long time, uh, nearly, well, 13 years, so it's a long time. It's been a big, massive part of me, but I felt it's the right time to move on. And like I say, this club's played a big part in my heart and I'm ready to keep moving forward with the club now. And that wasn't the only good news that week, with Neil Ardley named Vanarama's National League Manager of the Month for December after collecting 10 points from a possible 12, though his sights would momentarily switch to cup action. Notts had once again been drawn against fellow National League opposition in the FA Trophy, 
with Dagenham and Redbridge, the visitors at Meadow Lane. Wes Thomas was one of just five players to retain their place from the Bromley win, and it was he who came closest in the first half. Christian Dennis had one choked off for offside during the first 45, but shortly after the break, he put the hosts ahead, tapping in Zumana Bagiogo's cross. But unlike the first round at Chesterfield, a single Dennis goal wouldn't be enough for progression, as the Daggers restored parity on 76 minutes, with Mitch Brundle scrambling the ball home. That looked to have set up a replay three days later, until a moment of magic from the Knots captain spared a midweek trip to Essex. Over to you, Charlie Slater. Here's with Osborne. Osborne through the middle. Can Thomas get there? He's being nudged off of it. He doesn't. Keepers out of his goal. Doyle's going to shoot. Oh, oh my word! What a goal! Scored. Michael Doyle has scored from the halfway line. Oh, my word! To win the tie in your life! In your career, Michael Doyle, you're 38 years old. In your career, have you ever scored a goal like that? We will not be going to Dagenham and Redbridge on Tuesday night. Next stop, filed. Next stop, the third round of the FA Trophy. Knots two, Dagenham and Redbridge one. After a midweek fixture at Fylde was postponed hours before kickoff, Notts returned to league action with Dover the visitors, but it would only end in more frustration for the Magpies. Notts are on the break as Osborne pokes it over the top. Can Thomas get there in front of the keeper? He can. Back to Enzio, shoots from the edge of the area. Oh. Keeper saves it, nearly oh. forgotten. Oh, he saved it on the line from a second attempt. This one deflecting off of a Dover centre half. Enzio Baldwin stands over the ball. Christian Dennis there as well, but this has got the Dutchman written all over it he now stands alone poised to try and win the game for Notts County with his right foot he hits the post comes back out and Dover will clear the referee looks at his watch blows his whistle and that is full time nil nil Notts County come within a whisker of winning this with the very last kick of the game With the club adopting a policy of bringing in young talent with lots of potential, Notts made their second January signing when Carl Roberts made the switch from Blythe Spartans. The Newcastle Academy product had bagged 17 goals in 25 National League North games and arrived at Meadow Lane with a clear objective. Obviously want to get the club back to where they belong up in the leagues um, and I want to personally do well here as well. Roberts went straight into the starting lineup at Victoria Road, but it proved to be a debut to forget on a disappointing afternoon. Well, here goes Cal Roberts laid off into the penalty area from Wotton, wheels away and he should score, the keeper makes a brilliant save and then a double save as he punches it clear. I thought Roberts was going to get a goal on his debut, he did absolutely everything right. Here comes the corner, a near post, helped on its way, flashes across goal and Dagenham do have the opener in this game. I think it's the debut boy, Alex Reid, who's got it. Really poor ball from Zamana Bakayo. Doyle down could be off. Steering. Doyle's already been booked, the referee's gone to his pocket, and that will be a second yellow of the afternoon yep. for Michael Doyle, which equals a red, and Knox County are down to ten men. Plays it forward, he's picked up Brundle, who's in acres of space, shoots from range, the goalkeeper doesn't get it, and that'll be 2-0. And well, that's good night, Notts County, you'd think, 10-man Notts County at that. Alex Reid is the man who gets on the end of it. It probably would have been a penalty had Reid not been there to sweep up, and Knox are condemned to a miserable afternoon in East London. That was Notts' first defeat in 10 games, but at the end of the month, Neil Ardley's side remained amongst the playoff places, in a heavily congested top 10.